Hello everyone, welcome and I'm going to show you how to install Black Ops 2 DLCs on a PS3 custom firmware hen. First you're going to need to do the update. So once you've done the update, um, there's two ways to do it. So here we go, checking the update right now. Um, you need to know what region you've got as well. Now for my website I've only got a few uh, regions, uh, uh, two blesses I believe and one bless. Um, but yeah, so I need to enable Hen. You can follow along for Custom Farm or 2. Uh, make sure you've done the game update, which I was doing a moment ago. And um, yeah, once you've done that, we've enabled Hen. We're going to show you both ways how to do it. We're going to head on to the internet browser first and show you the DLCs that way. Okay, so type in my website, Flame and Immortal, and then just add a PS3 on the end. Um, or put www.flamingmortal.com and it, it should pop up there too. So we go on here, we click on it, and um, yeah. Uh, so we'll let the site load, and then we can click on Immortal Modding. There you go, this is the other site. So we will download directly on the PS3. So now we'll go into the Black Ops 2, right here, uh, category. And then here's all the DLCs, as you can see. Um, I've got Bless 01717. Uh, we will not be downloading all the DLCs in this video, but I'm just showing you a, basically a demonstration on one we're going to get. I'm going to get Nuketown Zombies, so I'm going to click on that. Yeah, it takes you to a media file page. If you're getting any errors here, uh, take out the S from the HTT uh, P. And, and then type the uh, keep the link the same after that. Just take out the S from HTTP, and then once you've done that, um, click download, and then HDD0 packages. Or if it doesn't say that, you might have to connect it to a USB storage device. And here we go. I'm showing you on the computer as well now. So we'll head on to the website, PS3 mods and content, and Black Ops 2. This is on the main website. Here you go, we've got uh, two blusses, two uh, and bless. Right here, you click on them and you download them. Make sure you get the DLC fix as well, or else it will not work as well. So there you go. Uh, so you can go get it from both sites on the computer as well. So there you go. Um, right there, I'm showing you them all. Like I said, make sure you get in the fix and make sure you're installing the correct ones. The blessed ones might work on MPEB and the blessed ones might work on an NPUB digital version of Black Ops 2. Um, so yeah, go ahead and save it somewhere. I've already saved it on my uh, uh, to my desktop right there. You can see, so it's still downloading. Alright, make sure you go ahead and if you're doing all the DLCs, make sure you install them all, and, and then the DLC fix last. But we need to also go and grab the DLC fix, which I didn't do. So we'll go back and grab that as well. And where is it? There it is. Okay, so we'll click on it. And um, there it is, right there. We'll click download. Very small file, doesn't take long at all. Um, this one shouldn't have an issue downloading on the PS3, it'll be very quick, as you can see that one's done. The DLC, depending on the size, Nuketown Zombies is a small DLC, so I went with that one. Alright, so there you go, it's just finished, as you can see, right here. Uh, get a USB, or you can FileZilla, use FileZilla if you want. So here you go, plugged it in. Uh, make sure it's in FAT32, if you're going to do it by a USB way, there's FileZilla right there, if you want to do it the FTP way and you can probably use it yeah you could probably use a phone as well but drag your packages on the root of the USB if you're doing it this way and there you go once you've done that go ahead and show you that they're there we can now go ahead and eject that USB like so and unplug that from the PC and plug it back into the PS3 so we'll go back to the PS3 now so here we go um, I could have waited but obviously I'm going to cancel that so, down, cancel all this, close out of it. Alright, 
so here we go plug in the USB stick into the PS3 there we go and now what you're gonna do is head over to package manager install package files so system storage would be like show you right there like if we did it on the PS3 way but standard is the USB way if you put it on a USB so there it is right there we go ahead and install the DLC first uh, they can take some time so I'm gonna go ahead and skip or pause the uh, video till it's uh, nearly done so there you go it's almost finished and there we go so now you need to install the package fix as well for it to work or it will not work so we go ahead and download this this package fix will make every DLC appear but you'll only have the one or the one you've installed so I have Newtown Zombies only, so that one will only work. Go ahead and load up your Black Ops 2. And there you go, it's loading up. Okay, so once that loads up, here we go. I have no modded eboots on, so it's gonna take me straight to the uh, main page, and I've not set it in options to a Zombies multiplayer campaign. Uh, I'm just changing my brightness all the way up there, that's good. We'll head to Zombies, because obviously I've got a Zombie DLC. And, uh, Except from the Nuketown one, each of the other DLCs you'll get one zombie map and four or five multiplayer maps. Good. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, show you how to do the signing in thing if you're using a PS4, or PS5, or a PS3 pad. So, like I said, all the DLCs will appear, but you'll only have the one you've got or installed. The one you've installed. So here's Nuketown Zombies. Go ahead and load that up. working because we're in the game. Right? So, yeah, just go ahead and shoot around and uh, just end the game now. We're, we're showing you the signing in method at the moment. So now what you want to do is, listen carefully, click play online, sign in. So once you sign in, spam the circle button once the signing in screen's gone. Yeah, now keep spamming circle, as you can see. If you don't spam circle, it will crash or you'll get stuck in a loop saying connected to online services. So the Facebook message has to appear now as well. So just keep waiting, it'll pop up. Once it pops up, hit circle, you're done. You can go ahead and play online now. And yeah, it'll work. My nap type is strict as well, which sucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to a custom match. So here it is. You'll see the background as well right there, if the map worked too, if you got it installed correctly. So here we go, um, playing some zombies on Nuketown Zombies. Uh, playing some Black Ops 2 Zombies on Nuketown Zombies, yeah. This is really cool, very nostalgic. Obviously, if you haven't played it before, you should definitely check it out. It is a great game. Yeah, knife off the mannequin's head. And you can literally dolphin dive on top of the mannequin too, on some of them. Uh, loads of OGs would know that. And yeah, really cool. Probably not the... I could have done a better map, but we could have been waiting longer. Go ahead and install them all if you want. I will probably be doing that in my own time. You know, getting a resolution, uprising, vengeance, and apocalypse. If you don't know what they are, you can look them up. Uh, so, <laughs> uprising is Mob of the Dead, and um, apocalypse is Origins. And resolution is Die Rise with the elevators, and vengeance is Buried. And then, like I said, you'll get five or four multiplayer mats, but I don't know them all. I know the skate park one, that's it mainly. And Nuketown 2025 as well. 
So you can see it's working. Very cool. Indeed, it is. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video parts. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you a little bit of footage here and then we'll go ahead and end the video. Alright, so I'm going to show you a glitch that still works on this. So you keep the store closed and you can jump on it like this. Not the best glitch, but it's pretty good and it still works if you were wondering. Um, but yeah, if you open the door below you, it's basically broken to you restart the map, the match. And uh, yeah, zombies will pile up underneath you and as you can see there's one there and uh, it's pretty hard to shoot them from this angle. But you can shoot the ones coming towards you. Yeah, I fell off and went down as you can see. Mustang and Sally's when you go down on solo, quick revive. I'm gonna get back up and there we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I see the box over there. So go ahead and open, hit that box. See what gun we get. All right, we've got the M27. Pretty good. Almost got cornered there as well. Did you see that? This is a great training place. Just keep that downstairs door open, and you can train the zombies very well here. I could have gone on for ages, but obviously this is just a tutorial how to get the uh, DLC. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, bye for now everyone. Enjoy.